What's going on, my kitsunes? Eat your favorite three tail fox, Foxy. Come back at you with a brand new episode of City Skylines 2, Port St. Lacey. And in today's brand new episode, we're going to be building some new downtown expansions out here. First thing we're going to be doing, and I actually did kind of have an idea of this planned out in my head on what I wanted to do initially. Unfortunately, it seems like this game had other plans because some of the asset mods that I installed in between episodes are not going to make it into the final product for, um... The new episode of Protogen Island, I think it is. Yeah, it is Protogen Island. That's the city I'm looking for. Because the game actually crashed while I was trying to edit some stuff with um, Netlanes, I believe it was. So, yeah, I was basically working with some asset mods as per the suggestion of Zia out here, I believe it was. Zia Aviation or whatever his name is. I can't pronounce his new name now. So, um, should point that out. But I he actually did recommend some pretty damn cool looking bridge extension mods out here. Unfortunately, though, it seemed like I went a little heavy on downloading some assets for this game because I, that broke it. That broke everything last time. And as you can clearly see, you know, well, not yet, but you'll see it soon enough. Obviously, next week I've got another um, episode of this coming out that will have the asset mods kind of like absent. But yeah, as you can clearly see, I did install some asset mods. I got a little carried away, and some game crashes wound up occurring as it too. So I used um. I used Skive, I believe it was, to actually remove those mods. So the offending mods should not be present, and honestly, that's probably for the better, because um, this is actually the last episode that is being recorded. This is being recorded, I believe, on November 30th, both the commentary and the actual video that you're watching. This is the last recording that I'm doing of this game prior to the release of two new content creator packs and most likely a major game update, or at least I'm expecting a major game update to come with it. It's entirely possible that it gets held off until bridges and ports, and yes, a couple skyscrapers did disappear because um, apparently anarchy is known to cause crashes, so in some cases I quite literally cannot use anarchy, which kind of does suck admittedly, and I'm just going to be that guy, whoever developed, who develops anarchy again? I, I can't remember for the life of me, but I do know that crashing needs to be fixed if at all possible right now because it is... Probably one of the primary remaining causes of the actual crashing out here. Move it works for the most part. Find it does not, unfortunately. But move it does. So that's good at least. I'm happy to see move it completely stabilized where I can move decals without um oh whoops um cue the error message. Oh wait, you don't get an error message when this game crashes. Anyone who watches my live streams or goes back to episode one of Protogen Delta. What so, no episode one of Protogen Delta was not live actually. But yeah, anyone who goes back to episode 1 of Protogen Delta or watches my live streams will almost instantly know that um, the, some of the mods that I play with are very unstable. In fact, Find It is the number one cause of crashing right now. The number two cause, and it's only number two because I put a complete moratorium on any asset mod installation, is actually asset mods out here. So yeah, that's definitely fun to deal with. But anyways, right now we're currently working on some more of the Skyline, and we're actually getting the... Um, I-95 started again, actually. You might have noticed that before the um, episode started, well, before the massive disaster that forced me to rebuild everything ended up occurring, basically, um, we had like a portion of I-95 I already built. I almost said I-995. I'm confusing it with Zara Carry on Atoll, and that's in City Skylines 1. That's in the original game. But yeah, basically, um, basically what was going on here is we were kind of like working with that and then obviously the next episode freaking everything broke there wasn't even a game update i'm like 99 percent sure it was one of my asset mods because um the episode of protogen delta from prior to that point completely was lagging into oblivion i i wish i was exaggerating when i say the lag was probably the worst i had ever seen in this game like holy crap man of course you know it was kind of funny because do I want to use, I don't know if I want to use those two words out here too, but let's just say someone very special to my tales actually had like the perfect words to say on the situation because City Skylines 2's launch has been, um, let's just say tumultuous to say the least. I, I don't want to use the actual words he said because um, I'm pretty sure YouTube would let me have, well, okay, YouTube wouldn't let me have it for that. I think the profanity has to be excessive and very rarely do I ever excessively swear in videos or live streams. Usually not at all. I try to avoid it at all. Well, I try to avoid going too excessive. I, I Like, my stuff's not made for kids, okay? Like, parents, if your kids are actually watching my tales right now, please stop them. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say right now. Like, I am not... I consider myself a PG-13 creator for this exact reason out here. But, yeah. 
Anyways, right now, back to the topic of the actual um, build at hand out here. You can see me something doing very unusual, or doing something very unusual with the ramps out here for the actual build itself. And there actually is a reason why it kind of looks like that. And that's actually down to the fact that most, that there's actually real world downtown ramps that kind of look like that because highways and downtowns generally don't really mix very well. I'm, I'm just going to be that guy. I'm just going to say, I mean, there's a lot of freeway revolts in big cities. So, um, yeah, definitely don't try a highway, a downtown ramp that isn't going to make much sense out here. Obviously, I did a park low on one side, and then on the other side, I did something very similar to, um, I think it's, like, I think the best comparison that I remember here would be the um, West Street ramp from I-65 southbound in Indianapolis out here, I think it is, because that, that ramp is very similar to what I did right there. In fact, I could make it look even more like that ramp if I want to. But personally, I prefer to keep it straight out here, too, if we're being honest. I feel like that's going to be the right move. So, yeah, we got that, um, was it the West Street exit or the MLK Road exit? I can't remember for the life of me. I do know it was one of those two exits out here, and it's the southbound ramp in particular. That, that's what that's kind of reminded me of, and that's actually surprisingly common in um, downtown areas of cities because, again, freeway revolts were a very real thing in big cities. I mean, freeway revolts shut down... I an interstate project not too far from me at the time of recording this i-165 i believe was actually a proposed um spur route of 65 that was supposed to go to 38th street and freeway revolts absolutely killed the crap out of that one so i wouldn't be surprised if freeway, freeway revolts actually ended up um determining the route of i-95 through here in fact it probably did because this is supposed to be inspired by port st lucie irl in florida as a matter of fact i've almost called this city that are building port st lucie a very good number, an alarming number of times, actually. Not even a very good number of times, just an alarming amount of times. It's like, Foxy, Port St. Lucie's real and this city is fictional. Like, how could you possibly um, screw that up so much? But yeah, it's definitely something there. And also, if you're wondering why that transition occurred there, it's because I actually saved this game. As I mentioned earlier, there were crashes when I was trying to record this, and I just do not trust this game after a crash for a long while. I'm just going to be that guy, I'm just going to say it. I do not trust this game for a cra after a crash for a long while, but one thing I will trust is that the UK pack for this is effing amazing. I already talked about this in Silver Atoll, some of the more recent episodes of that. I think all of them have, no, actually all of them have gone live because I don't do Silver Atoll recording for another couple of days out here, assuming that this game works after the next major update ahead, but some of those flats, man, they look really good, and of course, you know, we gotta end the episode by putting low rent right next to the city hall because that actually makes sense, at least to me it does. But anyways, we are coming up to the end of this episode. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now. And have a great day tonight. No matter where in the world you may be.